I'm nervous. More than anything, I want to see my son again. But I can't fully let myself believe I will. I have too many doubts. Tan Jingjing has been looking for her son, Mu Chen, for four years. He was kidnapped by human traffickers with the help of her ex-husband and his family in Wuhan, a sprawling metropolis in eastern China. The authorities have said that Mu Chen will be returned to her, but they've broken their promise before, and she fears they will again. Tan Jingjing is on her way to court with her younger son, Ye Chen. She's asked authorities for help on numerous occasions, but she's never received any. On the contrary, she's convinced there was a cover-up. A year ago, Tan Jingjing discovered that her son Mu Chen was sold to a village in Shandong province. She thought he was living with a family there. Have you seen this child? I know you know him, I can tell. But the villagers refused to give her information. This child is mine. My mother-in-law sold him. I've been searching for him for three years. Who's seen him? Who knows something? A child gets sold and police and the courts cover it up. I can't bear this. Somebody sold my child. I want him back. Now Tan Jingjing has an appointment with the police. The police captain wants to speak with her about returning her son. She's careful not to expect too much. My hope comes and goes. I don't believe anything anymore. I just know that I want my son back. Ye Chen has never seen his older brother. He was born after Tan Jingjing divorced her husband. His brother, Mu Chen, initially stayed with his father. Tan Jingjing won custody, but when she went to collect her child, he wasn't there anymore. The police do not have good news. The family told the authorities that Tan Jingjing can have her child back if she reimburses all of their expenses. In other words, the family is saying that she can buy her own son back. Child trafficking is illegal in China, but authorities often turn a blind eye, especially in rural areas where the preference for sons is stronger. The market for trafficked boys has been growing. If I accepted the family's offer, I could go to prison. I reported the woman for human trafficking, so if I accepted their deal, I'd be breaking the law. Maybe that's what they want. Tan Jingjing makes her way back to the village where Mu Chen lives. She wants to confront the family directly. Now that she has the exact address, she hopes to at least see Mu Chen. Let's get off the main road. Nobody's home, but the dog's barking. Anytime I come here, nobody's home, but somebody must be feeding the dog. Officers have visited the family. Tan Jingjing thinks they may be in hiding. I can't bear this. My son is living just behind these walls and I can't even see him. The officers met him, but I'm not allowed to. She saw the name of a kindergarten in the police file. Mu Chen supposedly goes there, enrolled under his new name. That's where Tan Jingjing goes next. She says she's looking for Yao Jiasheng. The teacher asks if she's come to pick him up. I'm his biological mother. Yao 
Another teacher says he hasn't been here for a while. He stopped coming in March after the winter holidays. The teacher tells her not to shout. The children are sleeping. The court says this is his kindergarten, but as soon as I come, he's no longer here. If you're looking for somebody, go to the police. Give me the family's phone number. I won't leave until you give me the number. Just the number. Get out, the man says, or I'll call the police. It's not clear who the man is. Tan Jingjing is forced to leave. The story began in an outskirt of Wuhan, where Tang Jingjing lived with her husband. A court summons has brought her back here. The authorities have promised that she will be allowed to pick up Mu Chen. Filming in court is forbidden. Tan Jingjing is told the family has once again refused to return the boy. Do these people have custody? No, I have custody, and I haven't seen my son in four years. You don't do anything. You don't uphold the law. You keep messing with me. Suddenly, Tan Jingjing smashes a bottle and holds a shard of glass to her throat. I called my sister before I smashed the bottle. I told her that if she doesn't hear back from me before 3 p.m., she should come here and get the boy. I knew they wouldn't give me back my child. The only option I have left is the final option. I told them that if I don't get my son back today, I will die here. Her ultimatum pays off. Mu Chen is returned to her. It's the first time in four years that she's seen him. He immediately bonds with his younger brother. The officers put her in a cab. They want her to leave quickly before she meets the other family. What do you have here? They wrote their number on his arm. I'm still scared. I need to watch out. Maybe they'll try to kidnap him again. That would be the worst thing for me. I'm so happy right now. My son is alive. But I also still have that deep terror in my bones. Tan Jingjing, Ye Chen, and Mu Chen are beginning a new life. This is their first night together. The boys are very excited. But will Mu Chen miss the other family? The night has passed. Mu Chen didn't get homesick for the other family. Their phone number has been washed clean from his arm. Your name is Muchen, right? Muchen. 
He hasn't understood the situation yet. To him it's just fun. I couldn't calm the boys down yesterday. They just kept on jumping around. Tan Jingjing wants to take her children and return to her home province. She hasn't been able to hold a steady job over the past years. She used to work in restaurants and sell snacks at the roadside. Now she'd like to go back to work. Tan Jingjing is eager to leave Wuhan as quickly as possible. She wants to get out of the place where her son disappeared. But first, he gets a snack. I want another, Mama. He called me Mama. I bought him something to eat and he calls me Mama. It isn't clear how many children disappear every year in China. The authorities don't publish figures. Parents rarely succeed in getting their children back again. Tan Jingjing spent four years trying to get her son back. At last, they've been reunited.